Okay, I will go with Abd Hussain. Please unmute yourself and ask your question. So my question is, uh, is there any affiliate policy for entry of the DVM in Hong Kong? Uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier that, um, you know, if you want to really want to pursue master, then the only one opportunity is master in public health. But as Hong Kong is allowing directly for PAD, even though if you if you don't have the master, you can directly go for PAD as well. But there is no any mandatory brothers, all uh, brothers and sisters. If you are, you can communicate in Urdu as well. And I will be very happy to communicate in English. So there is, you don't need to worry about it. Thank you. Uh, sir, is there any Yeah, the thing is, uh, I will answer in English because uh, maybe some of them in, you know. So the thing is, uh, yeah, IELTS, as I mentioned earlier, if you appeared in IELTS, uh, it, it will be, you know, one plus point as well. Uh, but the thing is, if you don't have the IELTS, even though, then uh, like if already communicated with the professor and if, if the professor is agreed, then the thing is you can submit your online application. But whenever, you, uh, you know, in case if your application is successfully, you know, your scholarship is successful, then afterwards you need to pass the English language exam. So there will be two subjects that you must need to pass. But I would never suggest that you don't need to appear in IELTS because, you know, uh, already there are a lot of, uh, you know, competitive scholarships. So if you have IELTS, it will be a further value addition in your, you know, uh, scrutinizing your C whenever they are evaluating your So, Dr. Sab, you are saying like any person who is applying in Hong Kong, he should have IELTS. So, yes. this is must or not mandatory? Yeah, this is, uh, you know, in the, uh, although in the, you know, online application, they mentioned that it's must. Even on the university website, mm -hmm. it's also, they mentioned that must. But I know some of the candidates, even though they don't have the IELTS, but they somehow they have the very good uh, ex, uh, like exceptional academic record like maybe they have the gold medal but uh, like whenever they will submit the application if the professor is agreed then you need to you know pass to two subjects for english language exam uh, but if you have for example low cgpa or no publication then i would suggest that if you you can appear in arts so that it can be value addition Yes. Yeah, yes. I got it. So it means like if you have exceptional record, you can try, yes. but it is better to appear in IELTS and get IELTS result and have a complete profile and apply on hundreds of opportunities other than very few. So that's good. And um, you are appreciating uh, publications as well. So yes. this is a new thing for bachelor students. They should have one review article as first author or some research articles as co-authors. This is a good thing. Okay. Um, I will go with next person, Dr. Hamdan. Please unmute yourself and ask your question. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, this session is really amazing and most recent awaited session for me. Uh, sir, my question was, sir, I applied to the City University of Hong Kong and Hong Kong University. I applied to both of them. The City University of Hong Kong was my first priority thi for the uh, public health department and microbiology department in uh, Hong Kong University. Sir, my first question was, sir, sir, related to fee submission. Because I didn't have any fee for them, so I didn't have any fee. तो उसके लिए सर क्या किया जाए क्योंकि मैं बैंक गया था मैंने बैंक से डिस्कशन की थी तो उन्होंने कहा था ये आपको बैंक कभी भी पे नहीं करने देगा एप्लीकेशन फीस जो कि अराउंड बनती है सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हांगकांग की बनती है ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड और थ्री फाइव थाउजेंड बनती है हांगकांग यूनिवर्सिटी की एक तो सर ये सवाल था दूसरा सवाल मेरा था सर रिलेटेड टू डेड क्या जो स्कॉलरशिप की डेड है क्या वही डेड डिपार्टमेंट की भी डेड है सारी चीजें सबमिट करवाने की और सर तीसरा सवाल ये था कि सर मेरा रिजल्ट ऑफ आइल्स जो है वो अभी अवेटेड है मतलब मैंने अभी वो देना है तो वो मेरा पंद्रह दिन बाद मजीद रिजल्ट आएगा तो क्या सर तब मैं इस चीज को अपनी प्रूफ कर सकता हूँ क्योंकि अभी मैंने कैप्लान टेस्ट दिया हुआ और मेरे पास अपना एक प्रोफिशेंसी लेटर है बस कहानी सर इसके बारे में बता दें फिर मैं मजीद आगे कुछ पूछूंगा जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं आपकी पेमेंट के बारे में बात करता हूँ 
कि पेमेंट के लिए आई थिंक एज पर माई केस मैन एव सबिटिंग माई ऑनलाइन अप्लीकेशन यू नो इफ यू हैव नो एक्टिवेटेड यू आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव वीजा और मास्टर कार्ड इफ यू हैव इंटरनेशनली एक्टिवेटेड बाई कॉलिंग द यू नो हेल्पलाइन देन ऑफकोर्स दे विल यू नो फॉर सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे विल एक्टिवेट यूर कार्ड so and then afterwards you can you know submit your you know pay your application fee in this way like as i did in this way but some of them still facing uh, the issue i don't know for some reason but uh, you know there is no any issue if they internationally activate your card then you can uh, submit your fee but uh, for the sake of pakistani even though if you are you know st really struggling for this i would be very happy to pay no problem for this and the second one is uh, you mention about the the second one is about ids i think yeah ids is basically as you are saying that you are still waiting for the ids uh, so i would suggest that as still we have 3 to 4 months so you you can wait and you can maybe uh, meanwhile you can achieve your score and then you can uh, you know uh, submit your online application and the, the third one is uh, i don't remember the question sorry can you please repeat um let me unmute uh sir mera dusra sawal tha related to deadline of department and uh, yes. comparison yeah. got it yeah the the same deadline for example the deadline is 1 december 2023 so that same deadline for the hong kong pad fellowship scheme for initial application and the same deadline for the each university as well so as you are saying that you submit your application so there are basically two options you can only submit your application in two universities two different universities or two different departments you cannot submit more than that so you must need to keep in your mind and the other thing is if you are submitting on two different departments or on two different universities then you need to pay separate fee for each department or each university uh, sir ek sawal aur ye tha mera sir mere paas research ka experience hai but i don't have a paper published yet main ek review pe bhi kaam kar raha hu but sir i have experience of 2800 hour working matlab mere paas 2 saal ka experience hai work experience hai in field in market to so, sir uske liye kya uh, jo mujhe cv mein hai ye cheez add karni chahiye it will be a good thing for me to add because ye relevant to nahi hai research se but main kya add kar sakta hu aur dusra sir kya cv ka template europe pass cv hone chahiye ya american style cv hone chahiye uh, i would suggest american style rather than european style and the i think so that if you have a for example r it's a good plus point rather than without mentioning but the thing is if you have a really a good uh, like as an evidence if you have an evidence then you can include this uh sir ek sawal aur ye tha sir when i was applying in the uh, university of hong kong तो सर वहाँ पे अब उन्होंने एक कंडीशन रखी थी कि फॉर अप्लाइंग हॉन्गकॉन्ग फेलोशिप स्कॉलरशिप यू हैव टू सबमिट एन इनिशियल एप्लीकेशन विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी सबमिटेड तो अब वहाँ पे ये चीज बहुत क्लियर लिखी हुई है इनिशियल एप्लीकेशन के ऊपर कि आप एक इनिशियल एप्लीकेशन सबमिट करवा सकते हैं अगर आप दो करवाएंगे तो आपका एडमिशन अगर हो भी जाता है तो वो कैंसिल हो जाएगा अब सर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हांगकॉन्ग की जो मेरी स्लॉट है वो अभी भी खाली ही है वहाँ पे मैं ना ही कुछ टाइप कर सकता हूँ ना ही मुझे वहाँ पे कोई ऑप्शन शो हो रहा है कि वहाँ पे तीन ऑप्शन थे एक तो सर जो उन्होंने मेरा हांगकॉन्ग वो नंबर मांगा था जो एप्लीकेशन से जनरेट हुआ था मैं वो टाइप नहीं कर पा रहा था दूसरी सर उन्होंने एक चीज मांगी थी कि आप फर्दर अगर जाना चाहें तो आप किस स्कॉलरशिप के लिए मजीद पीआईडी को फॉलो करना चाहेंगे तो सर इसके बारे में थोड़ा सा गाइड कर दें काइंडली थैंक यू सो मच फर्स्ट वन इज इफ दे विल एलोकेट यू एचकेपीएफएस नंबर ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज द यूनिक नंबर देन इफ इफ यू विल इवन दो इफ यू विल सबमिट योर एप्लीकेशन इन अ डिफरेंट वे बाय यूजिंग अनदर ईमेल then your application will be rejected in that case so you need to be very careful if you are submitting your application you need to be because all the other credentials are same so you need to be if they will allocate you uh, hkpfs number or hong kong pad fellowship scheme number then i think so it's it's a problem on your side because whenever you are submitting application on the university portal uh, it, it shouldn't be uh, any problem i i don't think so because in the youtube comment section i also faced this problem but what i suggested them that you can just like 
because of a certain period of time, maybe after two, uh, 24 hours, it will be automatically inactivated. So you just need to maybe restart your computer or try the other browsers, like in, instead of Google Chrome, go for other browsers. I'm pretty sure that this issue will be solved. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, I'll see this thing. I'll refresh my application. Ko refresh kar uh, sir, when we come to the submission of fees at Hong Kong University, I've tried it for three days. It's just waiting. It's not going to be a process. 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 It's just waiting and waiting and waiting. So, sir, is this an issue of the university? What can happen? Um, I... I... I would suggest you that if you are really struggling for this, then the one solution is there is basically one email is hkpfs at the rate of, uh, you know, uh, ctu.edu. This is the basically given on the official website as well. So you can just send them email and probably you will receive reply within one to two days. And then this, uh, this issue will be resolved. Uh, Sir, uh, the other thing is that you have told me that I have to show 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 that so, already so in that case, I would suggest you to go for the official email address. They will guide you better in that way because I never faced this problem before. So now I would suggest uh, the other, uh, you know, my fellows as well, if they want to, you know, they would take the opportunity as well. So can you please unmute the other as well so that they can ask question? Okay, I'm unmuting Rana Daud. Please ask your question. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thanks to Mr. Hussein, uh, Saber Hussein, and Hamza Jawad. Uh, sir, basically, I have done a uh, master in philosophy in pharmacology from the University of Agriculture, Faisalabad. Uh, sir, two weeks ago, I just emailed to a city university professor about uh, the research that uh, my research is interlinking with your research, and I want to accept him, sir. Then, in response, he emailed me, dear. If your university is within the top 100 world universities, you are welcome to apply. So what will I do in such situation? Yeah, the, this is the basically last year they changed the criteria, unfortunately, for the Hong Kong PID Fellowship Scheme Scholarship. So if you are, you can just send them email in such a way that, you know, uh, as the Hong Kong PID Fellowship Scheme, you know, they mentioned this criteria, you know, on the website, they didn't mention, but I know the criteria, they change. So there is basically some, you know, uh, other discussion that I, wanna, I would not like to discuss here. But you need, uh, you, what you need to do, you need to reply in such a way that uh, I would like to apply for other scholarship like uh, postgraduate scholarship or UGC, University Grant Council. Or if you have a project funding, I can go for non-UGC scholarship. Or is there any possibility for CTU Cornell scheme? So probably they will consider on this because I don't think so that they will consider for Hong Kong PLE fellowship scheme, which is really, uh, unfortunately, they change the criteria and, uh, you know, our universities does not fall in the top 100 universities. So, uh, sir, in such situation, what should I do? Should I apply sir, for another scholarship? No, or, uh, yes. No, no. Yeah, I, this is the thing that, brother, I'm suggesting you that you you need to reply that, dear professor, whatever their name is, is there any possibility that I can apply for the University Grant Council or non-UGC or CTU Cornell scheme? So they will then reply you the possibility, and I'm assuming that there will be a possibility for the these scholarship as well. Okay, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Okay. Um, next question is from Shiraz Mustafa. Please unmute yourself.
السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say sorry uh, to come late because, uh, you know, here I just joined very really late because uh, maybe you are talked earlier. Uh, I just want to ask about uh, postdoctoral program over there in veterinary sciences. Is there any opportunity? Yeah, of course, there, there are a lot of postdoc opportunities as well. And I know some of my colleagues, they are already pursuing postdoctoral scholarship, especially in uh, neurobiological sciences. I, I'm not sure about your research area, but uh, if, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you have any kind of research area, you can just, mm -hmm. you know, uh, approach, uh, research, check your research area and then check the research professor if any professor is working in your domain then yeah you know you can email them i'm pretty sure that if you have the funding then they can allocate you as a postdoc because many postdoctoral are already working in that department okay sir thank you just i wanted to ask about that because i i tried to search over there but i couldn't find but inshallah uh, from today i will search further if i found if i found for my uh, in my field, uh, for instance, I have did my PhD in animal protein genetics and reproduction from Nanjing Agricultural Institute, right. China. So I have also published papers, 17 papers. And uh, uh, so I was looking for that. I just mm -hmm. wanted to ask about that. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I, nowadays I'm working, yeah. Nowadays I'm working as a, a associate professor in uh, Ziaudi University, Karachi. Mashallah. So, uh, so, yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I think one of the candidates also from the Najing University recently completed PhD. Maybe you know uh, Nasir Shiraz. So he he joined as a postdoc. Maybe you can search on the Facebook or maybe you can find the link and you can approach them. Maybe you can have a better postship and you can get a better opportunity. Okay, thank you, sir. Because I I joined just late, just a few few okay. minutes ago. So, no problem, <laughs> sir. No problem. No. Uh, Maybe you talked about this, but I didn't listen. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Dr. Shiraz, the recording will be available. And if you have yeah. registered through a Google form, I will send you the recording link. Mm -hmm. um, and on the other side, I'm also doing master's in animal breeding and genetics in Canada. And my university also have uh, opportunities for postdoc. And usually people do postdoc, but... Uh, my supervisor is more more towards animal breeding with machine learning and artificial intelligence. And there are some other professors who are more with genomics. So in Canada, there are a lot of opportunities for postdoc uh, in animal breeding genetics. So you can you can check them or we can talk sometime else on it one to one. Yes, it's great, sir. And I will wait for your uh, uh, recording or email something. Yeah, have you I'll registered? Wait. Uh, I, I think I didn't just read it. So okay. is there any way or? So most probably from where you have find, uh, from where you have found this Zoom meeting link, uh, mm -hmm. I hope there will be meeting, uh, the recording link will be shared there as well, I hope. Inshallah. Yeah. Right, so you from where you have found this yeah. group, from where you have found this link of meeting. My, my friend, my friend gave me, my friend, uh, Ubed. With, okay okay you can just uh, ask him again like tomorrow mm -hmm. if he has yeah. found a recording link he will share with you okay okay, okay no problem thank you thank you sir welcome um uh, there is no other question except Rana Daud, you have raised your hand so if any question you can ask please Uh, sir, can you please guide us about uh, U.S. and Canada scholarship? Because uh, Sir Hussain is in U.S. and you are in Canada. Can you please guide us? Okay, we will talk about Canada scholarship uh, on another time. Uh, here, I want to take more opportunities to learn from Dr. Sabar. So, thanks. Though we will talk later on this on another time, not today. So, Sujit, please unmute yourself and ask your question.
Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Please speak. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for letting me to uh, put, uh, to ask my questions. I've already uh, asked my question in the chat box. So, uh, I'm from Nepal and I'm doing my bachelor's in veterinary as and BBSC. And I'm doing my BBSC. And so could you please tell me how will my experience in leading different uh, student organizations and uh, non-government organizations and volunteering experience would help me in getting scholarship? And that is my question, sir. And I, I also have some research experience. I have, have my three uh, research uh, publications already published. Uh, and please tell me how, how would that help me in getting a scholarship for master's or PhD program? Well, Su well, Sujit, yeah, yeah, as you mentioned earlier, that, uh, you know, there is a one, uh, you know, uh, eligibility criteria is leadership abilities. So if you have, for example, experience in different NGOs and you have worked some voluntarily or you have a research experience, uh, you must need to mention your academic resume as well. But the thing is, you must need to keep in your mind that if you have a, uh, you know, evidence as well, in case if they want a professor ask you or if, uh, you know, scrutiny committee or graduate school will ask you, you need to provide some certificate as an evidence. But uh, you don't need to be worried about that either, you know, this will be valuable or not. Of course, this will be valuable and it will be counted in terms of leadership abilities. Thank you so much, sir. And also, sorry, sir, I could not join the meeting in time, sir. So, will the record, uh, recording be available to us, sir? Yes, recording will be shared with you. And I will add one thing. Um, I was reading somewhere like if you have no research experience during your bachelor's, then you are suppose you have worked within a society or you have uh, um, arranged some animal health camps like that stuff. You can just say I wrote a grant for my animal health camp, which was approved. So this showed this will show your grant experience so which is a great asset so in this way you can just combine just applying research experience terminologies to your academic and other curricular activities to show like you have these these skills which can help you if you get an opportunity in a lab you can apply them to that situation and you will get money for projects so this way things help but it all depends how you work how you keep how you are keeping record of them in form of pictures in form of certificates and then learn how to display them how to present them then they are useful okay there is no more question from any other person and uh, overall there is no question more in chat box so we can close this session and uh, um to reach dr sabir hussain you can simply check his Facebook ID and you can reach him on Messenger. He will reply you there. And uh, otherwise, you can just watch his YouTube videos, which are already uploaded on his YouTube channel. And you can comment under specific videos so he can understand what is your specific question and he can reply you better. It is not a matter of uh, taking views on YouTube from your view. It is a matter of sharing authentic and uh, in, uh, authentic and more information in short time and more efficiently. That's the purpose. So you can just check uh, his YouTube channel for more information about Hong Kong. And recently he's uploading videos about uh, USA. So it will be, um, if you will watch, like, comment, anything you will do, it will be appreciation, not a requirement. Requirement is just watch, then ask question. This is my request to everyone who is in Pakistan and try to get scholarships. Yeah, anything Dr. Sabir you want to say before concluding of session? I can just, you know, have a best wishes to all those who want to really, you know, fulfill their dreams because as you know, the Pakistani situation is going <clears throat> day by day. So <clears throat> we are uh, here to help everyone. If, if, the first thing is, as you know, uh, Hamza brother already mentioned that please watch the video, uh, 
carefully. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you will get answer. But in case if there is any specific question that you may have, then please uh, write those questions. And please, I would like to request that, you know, write not, uh, you know, in in call form because we are working in the lab. So I would like to request that please mention in writing form so that whenever I have done my experiment, I will be very happy to reply. And thanks. And once again, best wishes to all. Okay, that's a uh, right suggestion. If you will ask a person for giving you time for call, it can take one week. But yeah. if you will send your uh, message and ask your question directly, maybe uh, promptly he can reply you with a link or a voice note, or he can uh, send you some other person contact with which you can talk and your problem can solve instead of asking to arrange a call, which is a difficult, um, dif which is not easy. Uh, when you are available on social media, when you are on social media, uh, many people reach you unexpectedly. People are reaching you, so you can't deal everyone in a detailed manner. That doesn't mean like next person is not cooperative. It's it's a matter of priorities, like what he is doing today. Priorities of supervisor, priorities of lab work. That are major thing other than. Uh, telling same things to Pakistanis every day. So things are already available. Just scroll them in a correct way and then ask specific question. It will help you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Sabir, again for your yeah. precious time. And I know it is 12.17 a.m. in your country, USA. Yeah. It is midnight. or So it is hectic for you to work to whole day yes. and then provide some time. And you're therefore we arranged this session in a short time therefore he couldn't prepare a presentation or like that stuff and uh, as my personal priority is always to show website show links show actual things other than making presentations which are not making so much sense when we don't find exact websites we find uh ad ad scholarships like people make websites for scholarships but those are for just earning money they yeah. upload like canada scholarship open and there yeah. is hundreds of scholarships exactly. no one is for us yeah. so that's why yeah so whenever you are uh, like uh, you know uploading video because meanwhile we contact very shortly so you can like just mention my youtube channel name in case if there's specific question but uh, rather than that even though if they did not get an answer uh, maybe meanwhile after a certain duration we will uh, catch up again for a certain period of time and I will make some, you know, maybe PowerPoint so that uh, more audience can get in a better way. Uh, so um, because of lack of time, it, it was very difficult for me to so hope so uh, in upcoming future, uh, hopefully the, you know, many candidates will have a, more questions and hope so they will get many, you know, answers from that video. Yeah. Sure. So we are thankful to everyone who participated in this session and in Pakistan, have a good day and Dr. Sabir, have a good night Thank and you. see you on in another session on another Thank time. So take yeah. care. Bye-bye. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.